In this video, we'll look at how to get started with the DevExpress pop-up for Blazor. The pop-up component allows you to display a modal window that overlays the current view. I'll show you how to build a simple application with a pop-up, how to organize content, and apply customizations. I've already created a Blazor application using the DevExpress template. I open Components, Pages, Index.Razor, and Remove Cards from the markup. The DX pop-up component does not support static render mode, so I enable interactivity on this page. I add the DX pop-up open and close tags to the page. I also implement two-way binding for the visible property to manage the component's visibility. You can also call show async and close async methods to show and hide the component in code. I add a button to open a pop-up. I run the application and click the button. The pop-up window opens. If you open DevTools and inspect the page, you can see that the component's markup is placed directly in the page's body. This behavior allows the pop-up to be displayed. Please note this when you write custom CSS rules. Our pop-up does not have any content yet, so let's add it. If you want to show textual content only, use header text, body text, and footer text properties. I'll add text for the component's header. For other content types, use templates. If you want to keep predefined spacings, use header content template, body content template, and footer content template. If you want to substitute entire render fragments, use header template, body template, and footer template. I use the body content template to add a form layout component to the pop-up window. To avoid conflicts between two components with render fragments, I add the context parameter to the body content template. Then I add the footer content template to add the OK button. The buttons click handler uses the close callback property to close the pop-up. The footer is not visible by default. That is why I set the show footer property to true. I also specify the show close button property to hide the default close button. You can also generate pop-up content dynamically. To do this, you need to implement a service. Visit our GitHub repository for an example. You'll find the link in the description. Like other DevExpress Blazor components, pop-up and its elements support CSS class properties. I add a CSS rule for the component's header. Let's view the result. You can see that the content is properly displayed and the OK button closes the pop-up. The pop-up is centered both horizontally and vertically on the screen. Use the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment properties to change the pop-up position. You can also allow users to drag the component. Set the allow drag property to true. I run the application and click the button. I can now drag the component. The pop-up's width is equal to 500 pixels on desktops. On phones and tablets, the width adapts to the viewport width. The pop-up's height changes to fit the content. The component supports the predefined size modes. I'll set the size mode to large. You can also use width and height properties to specify the pop-up size. Users can change the component size at runtime if you set the allow resize property to true. I'll run the application again, and now I can resize the pop-up. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified about all our new videos. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.